Welcome back everyone to another episode of Shea TV. My name is Marissa Hill and today we're going to be taking a look at a brand new silhouette on the channel. These are known as the Nike Filled General 82s and this is in the black and white colorway. Let's take a quick sneak peek. Welcome back everyone to another unboxing and review. If you're joining us for the first time, welcome in. Be sure to hit that subscribe down below if you're not already subscribed to the channel and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy these unboxing and styling segments. Today we're going to be talking about a brand new silhouette that we haven't done on the channel. Not necessarily a brand new silhouette in general. Huh. That's funny, General 82. I just basically gave you the name again, but these are the filled General 82s done by Nike. This is a sneaker that they basically brought back from the archive. So we'll go through that in the overview, jump into size and fit on these, followed by how I style this really just classic color scheme. Then we'll conclude with how much these are going for currently on the retail market. All right, let's jump right into it. So for those of you who are big Samba Gazelle fans or uh, Special fans on the Adidas side of things, and you're looking for kind of a competitor on the Nike side of things, because you love Nike as a brand, this is definitely a sneaker. I feel like they have really reached back into the archives to bring it back to kind of be that competitor in a sense. You let me know your thoughts on the two and which one you prefer. Uh, but as far as this goes, this originally released back in 1982. It was specifically created for American football. So you had a lot of legends actually wearing these, of course, with cleats. So Dan Fouts was one of those quarterbacks as well as Archie Manning. And uh, they decided to bring this back. But again, taken off the cleats because of course it'd be very difficult to wear these as a lifestyle sneaker. It's definitely a nice kind of lifestyle narrow silhouette, especially if you're somebody who kind of likes the cut and feel for a shoe like this that you can really kind of wear as an everyday beater. As far as the material goes, I would say one of the downfalls of this, just from wearing these a few times already, is the toe box here. You can see that this is a nylon material and it creases a ton and really leaves those crease marks to where it doesn't actually dissipate and uh, go away over time. We do have some uh, black leather on the toe box as well. I wouldn't say that this is the highest quality leather, uh, but you know, it does look pretty sleek as it is a very just kind of monochromatic fill on the upper. Then we've got some black laces on top of that nylon black tongue. And then we've got some white on the Nike and swoosh mark branding. As far as the box goes too, we do get a nice classic all black box, which I actually love. We're not getting the orange box that we would typically be used to seeing with something like this. So let's take a look at those details and jump into the side panels. go this is where we're getting that dual material of the nylon as well as that smooth black leather then we've got some overlays of the white leather on the swish mark which works this way in the back of the heel and then we have a nike on the back in black and then the same color combination of materials are used on the lateral side the interior is fully covered in black and then as we work our way down to the midsole and outsole that is also in a black finish all right let's take a look at those last and final details
far as size and fit goes, I would actually say it's a true size in these. I will say that these do run quite narrow. So if you do have wider feet, you might want to actually size up half a size. All right. So as far as styling goes, if you are somebody who's a fan of Panda Dunks, but you want to really try and test out a different silhouette that Nike is bringing back, this may be something you want to add to your styling cues. So as far as styling this, this is a very easy to style sneaker. For the first look, I kept it pretty simple and more dressier with a nice mini dress that was black with a nice little white bow to really match this identically. I swapped the colors in the second look with a mini dress, but this time in white with some black bow details. Then for the last and final look, went with a white and black tank and I paired that with some nice just light denim jeans for a more casual feel. As far as retail goes, if you are looking for a sneaker that is on the lower price scale of things, which is why I think the quality on these isn't impeccable, uh, it's doable. And I think that it looks fine as kind of just a, a beater sneaker, especially something that you may want to be kind of your everyday shoe. This may be one to try out, but, but these are retailed at a hundred dollars. So good price point. All right, everyone, that is it for this unboxing and review. If you joined us for the first time, thank you so much. Be sure to hit that subscribe on your way out. If you're not already subscribed to the channel, give this video a thumbs up. My name is Marissa Hill. This is Shay TV. We will catch you all on the next episode.